Hi everybody! So today I'm here with another Get Ready With Me. Um, this is kind of on a look that I got requested to do a Get Ready With Me with. Um, this was in my last product empties and then that same week my like pregnancy update. So when I had curly hair and I kind of had it like half pulled up. It was a really pink look. I used the Urban Decay Naked 3 palette. I haven't used this palette in a really long time, like almost since I got it. So um, I did that look and a lot of you requested to see it. Um, and I get ready with me, so I figured, you know, I should probably do that. So I have my hair up, but I'll take it down eventually. But, um, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and get started with my foundation routine. If you don't care to see my foundation, I'll put a little time marker right here. You can skip ahead directly to the eyes. Um, but, yeah, so I'm just going to go ahead then and get started. Like always, I'm starting off with a primer. I'm still using the Laura Mercier Foundation Primer in Radiance. Um, there is a lot of product in this little tube, or this huge tube, it's a lot of product in here, and you don't need a lot of it at all because it is like a radiance primer, so I mean like if you want a lot and you want to be super like disco ball-y, that's on you, but you really don't need that much, especially because it just kind of blends really nicely too, so I'm pretty sure this primer is going to last me forever. Then I'm taking my Maybelline Green Corrector Cover Stick and just covering some redness on my face. The foundation I'm going to be using today is the CoverGirl Outlast Stay Fabulous 3-in-1 foundation. Uh, this is the shade number 810. It's kind of a little dark for me when I first put it on, but it does kind of oxidize to match my skin tone later, kind of like within an hour, so I still love it, and I'm using a damp beauty blender to apply it. I love the way this foundation applies with a beauty blender because it's more full coverage for a drugstore foundation. But with the Beauty Blender, it's just like a really nice natural finish. And then once that's done, I'm going to do my concealer. This is the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in number 15. Um, I love this concealer. It's a great drugstore one. I think I mentioned it in my top 14 of 2014 beauty products video. Um, I just use it under my eyes, forehead, nose, cupid's bow, chin to highlight, and then a little bit on my acne scarring that I have. And I just use a Beauty Blender to blend that out. I saw that Maybelline came out with a new concealer. I think I saw it from like 11th Gorgeous's What's New at the Drugstore. And it reminded me a little bit of the MAC Pro Concealer, I think that's what it's called. I'm not sure. It reminded me of that, so I kind of want to try that next. I think I might need that for my under eye circles that are slowly becoming deeper and darker. And I'm just going to set everything using my Laura Geller Balance and Brighten Foundation Powder in Fair and a Mary Kay Powder Brush. Um, I just like this, it helps give more of a full coverage look and it sets everything really well. Then I'm going to contour using my Benefit Hoola Boxed Powder and then my Real Techniques Contour Brush. I just burnt. And my Real Techniques Contour Brush. I'm just going to do a little bit of a lighter contour today because lately I have been pretty heavy handed with the contour and I don't mean to be. I wonder if I'll ever run out of this bronzer. Like, I've been using it every day for the past, like, maybe year and a half, maybe almost two, yeah, almost two years I've been using this, and it's like, it's hit pan, but I don't think I'm ever going to use it up, <laughs> and I have so many bronzers that I want to use too, but I want to use this one up. And then I'm going to set my entire face using my Hourglass Ambient Lighting Palette. As you guys can see, the domes are all gone, and I'm using my Sephora number 55 brush. I just swipe it across all three colors and just set everything. And I just like the way it looks, and I like the finish it gives. For my eyebrows, I'm not doing anything too crazy today. I'm still going to be doing using my Anastasia Brow Powder Duo in medium brown in the brush that came with it. I'm just going to use the spoolie too quickly go through my brow hairs. I really like the way my brows have been shaping lately. Like they've been just kind of like doing it on their own. So I'm really happy with that. So I'm going to take the lighter shade and just kind of quickly fill in the inner half. I don't really define them or anything because like I said, I really like the shape that they have on their own right now. And then I take the darker color and kind of just quickly do the outer half. And then just to make sure there's like no harshness, I take the spoolie again and kind of just distribute all that color. 
So I've been using a new brow gel, and the one that I've been using is this e.l.f. Wet Gloss Lash and Brow Clear Mascara. And I've been using the eyebrow side, but I'm pretty sure the eyelash side is probably the exact same thing. This is probably the best brow gel I've ever used, and this product's only a dollar. Like, I used it, and I mean, it is like, it glues your hairs down. Like, y'all know I have, like, the wonkiest eyebrows. Like, mine will not stay in place. This stuff has, like, done wonders for them. And then to get started on the eyes, I'm going to start by priming using my Laura Mercier. This is the Eye Canvas Base in EC number 1. It just looks like this. I wonder when I'm going to hit pan on this too, because I've been using this pretty much every day as well. And I'm just going to put this all over my lid, up to my brow, and then also a little bit underneath my low, uh, lower lashes as well. Alright, so I went ahead and zoomed you guys in for this part of the look. Like I said at the beginning, I'm using all shadows from the Urban Decay Naked 3 palette. These are all like really pretty rose gold um, sort of neutral shades and I like it. It's just I don't reach for it every day just because I don't wear rose golds every day. So I like this palette. I just don't get as much use out of it as I wish I did. So I'm going to try starting to experiment a little bit more with it. But um, yeah. So I'm taking the brush, the double ended brush that comes in the palette and I'm taking this more fluffier side and I'm starting by taking the shade Limit right here which is the first matte shade. This is like a matte light taupey brown. And I'm just going to run this through my crease and above it as well. Using the same brush, I'm also next taking this shade called Nooner, which is the next matte shade. This one was the first one we used. Then we're using this one. It's just a couple of shades darker. And I'm putting this one right where we put Limit, so right in the crease as well, just blending it there but not bringing it as high as we brought Limit. I just wiped off my brush. I'm taking Limit again one more time, and I'm just running that right on top of Nooner again, just to blend the two shades together really well. I'm just going to take a clean blending brush. This one is just like a My Lamb brush from back in the day, and I'm just going to blend those colors out. Then flipping the brush from this fluffy side to this more dense, more like concealer type brush shade. I'm taking the shade Burnout, which is right here. It's like a really nice light pink color. So I'm just picking that one up. I'm just packing this one all over the lid. You can also blend that up into the crease as well, just to make sure there's no harsh lines with those two other colors. Next, I'm going to be taking this pencil brush. This is from Sephora. This is from, I believe, their like Smoky Eyes brush kit, which has a lot of really, really great brushes in it. So it's just a little pencil brush. And I'm taking the shade Blackheart, which is the darkest color in the palette. It's a black, but it has like pink little specks in it. So it looks really, really pretty. Picking up the smallest amount of that because this color is extremely pigmented, I'm just putting this in the outer V area, so starting right by the end of your eyes, and then kind of creating a V shape, whoa, into the crease, and just blending it to about right the, probably just the middle of your eye socket, and just focusing it directly in the crease. And then with whatever is left on the brush, I'm just going to quickly drag that underneath my lashes. Then again with our clean blending brush, I'm just going to blend that out so there's no harsh lines. Next, I'm going to be just using my ring finger in the shade Dust, which is a light pink glitter. There's a few glitters in this palette. There's Dust, Buzz, and Trick. Those are all kind of like glittery shades. And I find that using a brush is just not the best with these shades. So I just like to use my finger because I pick up more and I apply it easier. And I'm just gonna pat that right on top of the burnout shade, that light pink, just to kind of create a little bit more of a glittery pink lid. Then I'm taking another brush from that Sephora um, Smoky Eyes brush kit. And this is just the big, large, flat eyeshadow brush. I'm taking the shade Strange, which is this color right here. It's the lightest color. It's a matte highlight shade, and that is exactly what I'm doing with it. I'm just placing it right under the brows. Now, I didn't do this when I was filming those videos because I didn't have this product yet, but I want to try it now because I think it would be really pretty. So for the inner corner, I want to kind of stick with like the rose gold theme. So I'm taking this Vasanti Kajal uh, Extreme Rose Gold Eyeliner. I got this in a birch box. And I'm just going to put this right on my inner corner, just like that, just to highlight the inner corner. 
and I'm just going to kind of press it in so it's not too harsh and I kind of like the way that looks. So with this look I did kind of have a little bit of a longer or I guess larger winged eyeliner uh, which sometimes I'm not very comfortable with but I'm still going to try and do it for this video for you guys. Uh, so for that I'm using my Stila. This is the Stay All Day Waterproof Liquid Eyeliner in the shade black, intense black. So I'm going to try and create kind of an intense wing. Uh, hopefully you guys can see it because I know I kind of like get down and all sorts of things but I'll try my hardest. Is that I'm not too sure I don't I don't know I don't usually do this so I don't know we'll see maybe when once mascara is on it'll be okay okay so there's that I don't know how I feel about it but it's okay and then also in that video I did uh, put some black eyeliner all up in the waterline so I'm gonna do that just because I did that in the video so for that I'm just taking my baby urban decay 24 7 pencil in zero it's almost gone and just lining my waterline with that just like that and then I'm going to curl my eyelashes. This is an elf eyelash curler. I've seen those like not memes, but those like Twitter posts about the girl, like why people don't use eyelash curlers. I refuse to open it because it scares me because like just the thought of like, you know, busting your eyeball open with an eyelash curler scares me. But at the same time, like be gentle, obviously. So like when I saw that I'm like, girl, just be gentle. You don't gotta go in there like a crazy person. So I'm still using the same two mascaras that I was using in my last Get Ready With Me. So I'm going to start by using my Givenchy Phenomenize Mascara. I love this mascara. It's the little ball. It just oh, it does wonders for my eyelashes. So I'm going to start by applying this. Just takes a little bit of time. That's all. And I'm also going to put it on my lower lashes as well. And then layered on top of that, I'm going to be using the Marc Jacobs Blacker Mascara. This is a very wet formula, and I don't really think it does much for my lashes, but I still use it. Okay, so that is it for the eyes. For the cheeks, to be totally honest, I'm not sure what blush I used. That was quite a bit ago, but I think a blush that would look really, really good with this look. I got this in the Tarte Holiday little blush kit that they came out with. I think it was Ulta exclusive. Um, this is the Tarte Amazonian Clay 12 Hour Blush in the shade Prim, this is like a really nice kind of like neutrally shade and I think this would look really really nice You don't want to go too pink. I don't I don't think I don't want to be extremely pink So I'm going to apply this using my elf complexion brush just a tiny bit because these tart blushes are super pigmented And I'm even using a light hand just to dust this on because I really don't want you know a massive overload of blush Because I already feel like I got a lot of liner going so and then to highlight my cheeks, I'm using my like new favorite highlighter. It's so pretty, and you probably have guessed it if you've seen my haul featuring it. Um, it's the Becca Skin Shimmering Skin Perfector Pressed in Opal. <sighs> this is the best highlighter ever, and every time I wear it out, everyone's like, oh my gosh, you're glowing, you look so beautiful, you're pregnancy glow, and I'm just like, no, girl, it's my Becca highlighter because it looks so good. So to apply it, I like to use the Laura Mercier fan brush. I got this in a birch box as well because this color is so pigmented and I mean using any other brush you're going to get so much color. So I just like lightly dust it right on the cheekbones with my fan brush and I think it just gives like just the prettiest glow ever. So in that video for the lips, I did sort of a nude lip. So I'm going to start by using my NYX Lip Liner Nude. This has been getting a lot of use out of me lately. I've been getting a lot of use out of it lately. Um, if you guys actually like read my descriptions on like my past forever videos, um, especially when I'm wearing a nude lip, I've probably mentioned that I've been wearing this because I really like it. So again, it's a NYX Retractable Lip Liner in the shade Nude. I'm just going to line my lips and not fill them in. This nude lip liner is a little bit dark. It's a lot darker than a typical like light nude would be for me. So I like to use it and then I like to use kind of a lighter nude lipstick on top. I think the contrast looks amazing. This is my MAC lipstick in Myth, which I think looks just so pretty with a darker nude lip liner. I just think the contrast looks really, really pretty. All right, guys, so that was it for this kind of pink tutorial that I did in my past videos that you guys requested. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I have a couple other get ready with me, get ready with me videos in mind, but again, if you have any color suggestions, let me know. In my last get ready with me, a lot of people were saying use like a, bright, a red lip or a bright pink lip, and I definitely want to try those. So I'm going to try and get those done as well. Don't hold me to it to happen, you know, soon, but I do want to get at least a couple get ready with me's up a month. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video nonetheless. Go ahead and subscribe to me if you're not already, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.